guys what's going on. So today we're going to work on the jab. Uh, it's again another jab one, but this time we are creating angles with the jab. So you're going to be able to step left, step right, step backwards, but not straight back. All right. And we're going to go forward, which we already do. We've, we've gone forward and backward to warm up the legs. Now I want you to go backward without going straight back. So we're going to take a hitch to our right. Rather than just go straight back, we're going to hitch to our right just a little. It's because you don't want to get caught going straight back because that right hand, everything lines right up. <clears throat> You're in line with their punches. So you don't want to be on the line. You always want to be off the line. That's why we're always moving our head, moving our shoulders. Um, anyway, that's what we're doing today. And we're going to do a drill, uh, a boxing drill. This drill I gave to a lot of my different fighters, professional fighters, um, because when you turn professional, a lot of things come into the punch and they just want to devour their opponent. They want to hurt them. Okay. Everybody does, but in professional boxing, it's a little more emphasis on hurting your opponent. Um, so a lot of times what that would do is that would set aside technique and, uh, and strategy. They would just be hurting. I can move over here and I can hurt him. I can move over there and let me drop him. We're talking about technique angles. Okay. When that is missed, then a lot of, then a lot of boxing is, is missed and you lose fights. So angles with the jab. That's what we're working on today. And we got one drill for that. All right. Hey, all right, guys, let's produce some angles with the jab and then finish with that right hand. Same thing as always, we're going to get on that rope. We're going to move forward and backward on that line. <clears throat> all right, this is what we're doing in the beginning. Getting your feet right, getting your foundation set, moving forward and backward. Now, understand that things are going to change after this point for everybody that's been uh, following along here. And if you guys are interested in going on this wonderful trip with me. Um, so now this is, the, like I said, I'm putting everything that I've learned coming up from 1988 all the way until the year uh, 2020 um, through boxing myself, amateur and professional, and then training, um, basically um, mostly professional. But uh, these are the things. So anyway, here we go. We're back on that line. We're using a jab and a right hand. So now you can shadow box, man. You can get into it. You got all your punches, baby. So let it let it go. Slow and smooth. Okay, slow is smooth. Smooth is fast. After you throw a shot, feel the balance. You throw the one, hold it. Check your balance. Check your balance left, right, back, forward. All right, throw the right hand. Same thing. Check your balance forward, backward. Be loose. Don't be stuck in the mud. Don't be stiff-legged. I see guys that are so stiff-legged and they're, they're not loose. You got to loosen up. <laughs> Back in the day in the gyms, we used to call that white boy syndrome. When you just, you, you're so, you're tightening your muscles so much, looks like you're taking a shit. <laughs> That's called white boy syndrome. Okay, the exact opposite we used to call, we used to call black, <laughs> black guy syndrome is when you were too loose and got your ass kicked because your hands were too low and you were too loose. Um, so you want to find yourself in a happy medium all right so now stay loose and move you're going through the water get that in your mind go through the water through the water forward and backward we're gonna we're gonna move today because i gotta get you guys moving okay so we got our forward and backward now we're gonna move left to right left to right our head is gonna go with our knee understand that the head moves with the knee. Remember, the shoulder replaces the head. You'll see that in a minute. There it is. The shoulder replaces the head. My head goes with the knee. And I have moved to my right. All right. Which I am moving to the blind side of my opponent. Okay. I'm moving to the blind side. I'm trying to put that right hand out of reach. Because if they do throw that right hand, it's their ass. Because I've made them reach with it. We're going to work on counter punching with these movements at another time. But we need to get through these movements. Now, same thing. Head goes with the knee. Head goes with the knee. I'm slipping and I'm control back. There you go. Same thing. Head is going to go with the knee. Step and right back. So I'm not moving my head, moving my shoulders. My head is moving with my knee and my shoulders are placing the head. That's it. Just like that. And as you can see, you'll see these movements. 
you see these movements and they're gonna set up you can see it I know by now you guys have got to know you've got to see these punches you can see these counters I mean right there you can you know you can see your two you can see your four all right you can see them all right there and I slip a punch and you've got that two four right there you see that three you see that five look whoop five whoop three you see him you see him what about a three two coming back there's your there's your one we're gonna jab eventually there's a two there's a one there's a one okay you can even throw a three there now let's put the bullets in a gun let's go through this now there it is moving left head is moving with the knee now be fluent don't be so rigid loosen up every once in a while you're gonna get rigid those traps are your, your trapezius area you're gonna start get tight in there because a lot of guys like to tighten up because you're breathing you're thinking so simply step away shake out shake out breathe get a little sip of water come back get right back into it but you got to get the flow you got to get the flow guys you really do like i said you gotta put that to whatever music you look i say i say music but i say salsa salsa music man that is built for boxing it is built. That's why it's always in my uh, background. A lot of times in the background. And I always worked out the salsa and mariachi because uh, that's what I grew up on <laughs> in the boxing gym. So here we go. Now, I think we're going to let these bullets go now, I believe. Yes. Shoot the jab. There it is. Head goes with the knee and I recover. So I am moving out. There, I am moving out of distance, out of range. Hitting and moving, hitting and not getting hit. Welcome to the sport of boxing. Hitting and moving, there you go. Hitting and moving. So now I'm gonna go the other way. <clears throat> okay, so now we're gonna throw the jabs. A little bit different, this is an offensive movement. So instead of moving my head, I'm throwing the jab and I'm stepping with it, okay? Boom, jab, Ooh, and I move. I love that move, okay? You don't need to do it, but I love it. <clears throat> Why? Because it gives me counter punching. It gives me that three, gives me that five. Okay, it can give you a one if you want to throw that one again. Simply jab, step. Jab, step to the right. You're jabbing to the left, jabbing to the right. That's simple. That's all it is. jab there you're getting distance so you can move you're moving right now moving to that heavy side waiting for him to throw that punch he throws that right hand I'm gonna I'm gonna slip it now I'm going to his blind side there's heavy side boom boom there's his heavy side now I'm waiting for him to throw that right hand here I'm waiting for him to jab or try and throw that right hand there and now go through it, move left, move right, throw punches once in a while. If you do not throw a jab, that means you slip. If you throw a jab, then simply move. And that's it, you mix it up, mix it up now. Keep your knees bent, remember, flex your knees. We're going forward and we're going backward. There's the backward we want, right there. There we go, you see where our legs are is where we're moving backwards, forward and backwards. Tell me this isn't ready for some salsa music, man. This is perfect. Forward and backward, always moving, 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 coming forward, moving backward, moving backward, out of the way, out of the way. Hands in front of me, always. Hands are in front of me, always. In and out. We used to yell that in the gym. In and out, in and out, in and out. I used to scream, my favorite burger place, in and out, for though you guys that aren't from the West Coast. In and Out Burger, man, it's the jam. It is the whew, best burgers in town. But that's it. In and out, moving left, moving right, always moving. Never be a stationary target. This will work your legs, but I tell you what, it'll make you an unbelievable fighter. Because the guy has to set his feet to throw a punch. Welcome to the day and age of not learning correctly. So a lot of these guys, I'm sure you go to boxing gyms, maybe you see guys hitting bags or sparring. When they want to throw a punch, they have to set their feet, then they throw their punch. Not here. You are learning professional way of boxing, in and out, shoot and go, shoot and go. So here we are. 
and slow it down a little bit. So we got our step jab. There's our step jab. Let's go through them. Distance jab, our distance jab. We're going back. Now, right now, I'm going to correct myself. I'm not going to go back. No, I'm not going to go backwards. I'm going to step where my legs are telling, my feet are telling me to go to that direction. Just, just over, just leaning to the right a little bit. There we go. Now I'm not going straight back anymore. Even have to remind myself sometimes. If there's not an opponent in front of me, it's, you know, now I'm too old, I ain't been in the ring in a long time. You gotta remind yourself. So now I'm going forward, drive jab, drive. There, I'm driving forward, that's a drive jab. Driving forward. Now, there's my distance jab. I'm trying to set up a counter. Keeping the distance, letting him try and fall into me or throw a punch so I can counter. So now we are going to my left. Step left jab. There it is. There it is. <clears throat> and moving. Here we go. Now I'm going to his blind side and I'm going to my right, his left, my opponent's left. Blind side. It's my favorite way to work. There we go. Blind side. Step and back. This opens up so many counters, guys. This is why we're doing this now. Because now, after this, you'll understand when we put in these combinations and these movements. So there's our step jab. There's our step jab. Back and forth. Drive jab. Moving head, move shoulders. Keep in front of you, distance, left movement, right movement, forward and backward, in and out, step jab, in and out. I'm working them all now, working them all. Left, right, forward, backward. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. There we go. You do not need to stand in front of your opponent and jump up and down like you're on a trampoline. That is uncalled for. And this teaches you how not to do that. There we go. So now we're going to get on the bag. Okay, there's a drill I want to show you, but now we're going to go on a bag. And we're going to go do the stuff that you just did. So I'm stepping left, I'm stepping right. Really work at it. Become natural with it. It's, it's confusing sometimes. Remember, the front foot never walks over the back foot. And the back foot never crosses over or behind and crosses the front foot. I imagine like I hung drywall for a living when I was a kid. I mean, I did it from age 11 all the way until I was 22, 23, 23 years old, I believe. Hung drywall. So I always say, make sure you can put a, a sheet of drywall in between your feet. And that's always helped me. You know, whatever helps you, helps you the line or whatever. But, so that's all. Now you can see the counters. You see that. You see I step to my left, which is his right, his heavy side. I'm waiting for him to throw that. So I'm moving my head. Jab, moved ahead, and I'm looking for that shot right there. You see it. Boom, right there. I'm looking for it, and then I'll continue with the two. Have a good time with it, man. Slow. Really slow. Slow, sit into your stance and sit into your head movement and see the punch and then throw it. And pretty soon, it's going to come out faster than hell. And you're going to, you're going to, uh, it's going to be second nature. Just going to be just like breathing or going to the bathroom in the morning, baby. It's going to be nice and smooth. Okay. So now, as we're going through this, now I'm going to give you my drill. Okay. This is a drill I use because I had a guy that would get into fights. As you watch me work, I'm going to tell you here. I had a guy that he's a professional, extremely good professional, but when he got in fights under the lights, he would forget all about his jab. He would put his fucking, his left hand down by his, as I would say, you know, down, down by his nuts, I'd tell him. He put it down by his cup, all the way down. I says, what the hell? You got your cup. What are you blocking your nuts for with your hand? I mean, I would scream at him. This guy, I could not get this guy to keep his left hand up and use his jab. His jab was unbelievable when he used it so we trained every day this was the first bag bag drill we did almost two rounds of this so now every time that bag you hit it with a jab it's gonna come back you have to hit it with another jab keep it back keep the bag away from you keep the bag away from you every once in a while I want you to throw that right hand as a counter that they don't see coming 
but quicker than hell. Not about power, it's about speed. It's about speed. Now, if that bag goes forward and comes back and you did not touch it, that's an eight count. If you get three eight counts, forget about it. You have to stop the drill, stop the time, and start all the way over, all right? There you see it, a lot of leg work, all right? A lot of leg work. You gotta get used to that, you gotta get used to that flow. You've gotta get used to that flow of your legs and using the jab and using angles. Now with this, uh, that drill, if I didn't state more in the uh, video, if you didn't get it, that drill is every time, let me just get this over here. Every time this bag, you hit this bag, it comes back to you, okay? You have to jab it. You don't want the bag coming back. Right there, that's an eight count. That's the way I used to do to my uh, professionals, a lot of the guys I trained. So we would do that, we would have the bag shoot it, and if it comes back to you and you do not receive anything, you just move, that doesn't count. You've gotta turn a jab into it, okay? You gotta turn a jab. Every time that bag comes back to you, you have to jab. Jab and move here, jab and move there, move left, move right, backward, okay? You can lean into it. Okay, you can jab and come forward. Every time the bag comes forward, it has to take a punch. You have a choice. About five, maybe six right hands during this drill. And that's it. And that's it. So your left shoulder should be killing or if you're, or if you're a southpaw, your right shoulder. But anyway, your jab shoulder, your front hand shoulder should hurt. It's a workout, guys. Just like when you hit the weights, or you know, when you're hitting, you're hitting the weights in any kind of way, it's it's it should burn. All right, your front shoulders should burn. You should work on the speed in your right hand, and you should work on working the fucking hell out of that jabbing front hand. Every time comes forward jab. Okay, that bag comes forward and you don't touch it. Or if it's already come forward and then you touch it too late, that's an eight count. Three eight counts, go to fuck home. It's over, drill's over. You gotta be able to last through that drill. You, like I said, you will be sore in your front hand, but it will make you a better fighter. All right, that's the drill. All right guys, so that's it. Go with that and uh, we'll have another one for you. I am gonna get into body punching guys. A lot of you guys wonder about body punching. That was my thing, a jab and body punching. So, but we've got, we've got to make sure we can work on the outside. Because if you can't work on the outside, you can't get to the inside unless it's sloppy and you get caught. So, excuse me. So now, hopefully next time, we'll get to the inside, get that uh, basement going. All right. Have a good one, guys.